probably asking me, what do you mean by the safe way? Well, to answer your question as short as I can, is to avoid conflicts between different worlds and different mods. So, as you can see right here, I have Vanilla Minecraft folder, a Feed the Beast Star Wolf 20 folder, and a Craft Bucket folder. These all contain separate installations of mod packs, except for Vanilla Minecraft, because that's just vanilla. So I have a Craft Bucket, which is basically just Minecraft with plugins, and then I have a whole mod pack right here. So, in order to actually change this, we're going to need to do a few things. First of all, I recommend you use an FTP client because it makes things a lot easier than using FateHost's default interface and probably a lot of other hosting services interface. You're probably best off just getting a third-party FTP client like WinSPC. Great program, no viruses, I promise. So, before we do anything else, definitely shut down the server. We don't want to be moving things around while they're being used. And just in case there's any players actually online, we want to make sure that they don't get screwed up somehow. We're wanting to avoid problems. That's the whole purpose of moving this into its own separate thing. So as so, this is all the vanilla stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump this into the empty folder. So now that that has been moved, we're going to go in the craft bucket and move everything up to the root. What matters to the server is anything that's in the root, not the extra folders that I created for this. So as you can see, all of them are prefixed with bundle, so the server won't pick up anything that's in these folders, because it's not part of the actual thing. So before we start the server back up again, we got to change a couple of things, otherwise it's going to try to load that as a vanilla world, and it's not. So let's just go ahead and scroll down into the vanilla, uh, no, no, craft bucket, craft bucket 1.8, and change the world name to switcheroo, so that it actually loads the switcheroo world. And then we save it. Then we can start the server back up. Now, pardon me while I launch Minecraft. Alright, so now that we've got Minecraft up and running... Whoops, my server's not showing up. There we go. So, let's just jump right into here. And as you can see, I've just been dropped into Switcheroo. There's my house. It's taking forever to load because my internet's lagging. And this is just switcheroo, so nothing really special to say about it. And it's safe from all corruption, so Desmond won't get pissed at me. So let's just go ahead and go back to this. Now, in order to revert this change, you basically do the same thing, except uh, go from vanilla Minecraft to bucket. Or er, we already did that. <laughs> Whoops. So in order to revert that, it's basically the same thing. I'm just going to do it in a different order this time, just to switch things up a little bit. So I'm going to go switch it back to Silent Sands, and save it. And now, we drag all of these back into the Craft Bucket folder. So let's drag that back into the root. Check to make sure, yes, I want to save that. And go ahead and start the server back up. As you can already notice, the message of the day has changed, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. Ironically, the switcheroo server is now on the spigot part. Or craft bucket, my bad. And here we are at the end of the Silent Sands map. While I could thank you for playing this video, I would thank you more for watching it. I would really appreciate a like and definitely feedback. I know I suck at this, I'm just doing it for the first time and I'm doing it kind of blindly because I don't know how to do these kinds of things, but I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful, etc, etc, and I guess I might be seeing you for another tutorial video, maybe something completely different, you know how it works on this channel. So, I thank you for watching, I've already gone over that, and good day to you.